how does Japan's film industry compare to the rest of the world and industries in South Korea, the US, or even France? The Japanese film industry is a little bit unique. The Japanese film industry is a little bit unique, but since animation is very strong right now, the overall box office revenue is comparable to South Korea, France, and the US. Korea is seeing a big headwind as audiences aren't returning to the theaters after the coronavirus pandemic. But Japan has not suffered to that extent. Japan has not suffered that much damage. It has seen fast recovery, so I think it is doing well. I think the domestic box office is doing well. However, people tend to not watch foreign films. And compared to 20 years ago, the customer base that goes to see movies in theaters is changing. However, the domestic market is not going to grow in the same way as it is now. So there is no way to expand the market outside of Japan. And there is no way to nurture the next generation of filmmakers. I think that the overall issue is how to tackle these issues. You've been looking to improve the working conditions in the film industry in Japan. Tell us how that compares to other places around the world and the standards for staff that work in, the, in this industry. I think the working environment is very harsh. And most of the time, there is almost no time off. There are some directors and producers who are consciously working to improve the working environment. But overall, I think the situation is still not good enough compared to those in Korea or France. The main reason for this is the budget problem. But if we don't change this situation soon, young people won't stay in the industry. They will look for other jobs. What more should the government and the private sector do in order to address the challenges in Japan's film industry? In terms of government and public-private partnerships, it is not so much about the production itself, but about how to develop talent, how to support students studying abroad, how to secure overseas sales channels, and so on. What we are trying to do with the fund is to provide support for women who have left their jobs and want to work in the film industry again, and to properly set up such a new system which we call the Japanese version of CNC. What we are trying to do with the fund is to create a new type of working environment in which people can be properly rested, properly paid, and success fees are returned to the filmmakers through discussions with the producers. I think this is a new way of making films in which money is returned to the filmmakers in a way that was not possible in the past. I think that we have to show the world that we have done it in our way. I would like to ask you about the fund that will make it hopefully easier for domestic and foreign investors to enter the Japanese film industry and also return profits to creators. You've been partnering with K2 Pictures and you've made that announcement. Tell us a little bit about the details of that plan and what more you want to do here. I don't think Japanese films have been a good investment target until now. We have been doing business in the same industry in Japan by putting out a little bit of money together and hedging our risks. This has been successful to some extent, and the fact that a stable and not so large market has been sustained for this long is an achievement. But I think we are reaching our limits. The reality is that money has not been returned to the market and therefore the creators have not been nurtured. So we need to collect money from the outside to circulate it properly. I don't think K2P intends to exclude the industry from its activities. 
We just want to bring in money from outside. We will develop our works with an eye to overseas markets. We will make the circulation bigger by making it a little more open. It's based on the idea of thinking internationally, not just domestically. I sympathize with this idea, so I would like to try to make a film with them in some way.